611. If you're looking for something to watch on this rainy day, you can check out a remake of a classic. Hello, Pops. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jumping keepers. An almost real boy. <laughs> And there's also a horror film that's getting some buzz. I talked about it all with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World, starting with Pinocchio on Disney+. Plus. All right, Pinocchio is here in a live-action form. Um, it's been a while since we've all seen that original animated from the 1940s uh, film. But we have Tom Hanks as our Geppetto, uh, which when I saw the trailers, I was like, okay, I was uh, ready for this. Jiminy Cricket is played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, amazing TV actor, and uh, as well as Keegan-Michael Key playing Honest John that we know from Key and & Peele, and Cynthia Revo as the Blue Fairy. Looks good. The trailer was interesting. People some people were a little bit conflicted on the CGI on Pinocchio. Um, but when I went into the film, the first half, I was like, okay, I'm feeling this. But I have to say, they stick very close to the animated film, from what I understand. it's Again, it's been a while. I don't recall the story so well. Um, but for my fellow reviewers, they said they really stuck to it. So it kind of left us a little bit uninspired and just like wanting more or wanting something different. Um, and they did give us something different and I'm not going to spoil what we know of the so-called whale, but there's something different about our whale uh, that we find Geppetto and uh, Pinocchio in at the end of the film. But it's a very interesting film. It's a coming of age story. I'm very curious of how this new generation that aren't familiar with the original animated film will feel on it. But for me as an older fan, not too big of a fan of this round of Pinocchio, but I also want to add, we're getting another Pinocchio. This is the first Pinocchio film this year dropping. We have a Guillermo del Toro Pinocchio film that will be on Netflix uh, in the next month or so. All right, a bounty of Pinocchios. <laughs> so in theaters, we've got a horror film, Barbarian. Tell us about this one. Yes, I will not give you too much on this, but it was really hyped when I went out to San Diego Comic-Con. It's from the producers of It, The Grudge, The Ring. That's a great makeup right there. So if you're doing classics like that, I'm very interested in this horror film. Uh, it follows a young woman traveling to Detroit uh, for some job interviews. She books a rental home, but when she gets to this rental home, it's a dark and stormy night. There's somebody already at this uh, rental home. You know, so we've all rented Airbnbs. What do you do? It's dark. It took a long uh, taxi ride to get to this place and someone's already in there, but you find that he's very welcoming. He's like, you can go in the room, lock your doors. Uh, you can figure it out in the morning. What do you do? I'm going to leave it at that, but this person chooses to stay at this rental home with this stranger. Um, again, this classic, uh, it's its produced by some classic uh, producers that did It, The Grudge, The Ring. Uh, it's one of the most best-reviewed uh, horror films uh, amongst my compatriots uh, out right now. I would have to say it's one of the best horror films in years. I don't want to spoil it anymore. There's a lot of twists, turns, things that you're not going to expect. And now that we're getting into the Halloween season, to me, it's a must-see. Barbarian from 20th Century Studios. I praise there. That's Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World on Skype. Oh, <laughs> my